yeah, got my new haircut. Sarah made me a haircut on the beach. And yeah, normal Saturday day and enjoying the well, this is a dead bird. This time we came to see Bob and one of the reasons for that this is really close to Helsinki. So we don't have to drive far away to get our camping place. This has been the hottest summer of not decade but century in Finland. Yeah, so extremely hot and now it's fall and it's still really hot, which we like. So we have been enjoying this summer so much. There has been lots of com conversation about leaving your dogs to the van and leaving your dogs to the hot car, hot car and the everything. And it's totally different when you have a van that is your home because it doesn't get hot. Yeah. We didn't have any problems without AC even yeah. during this summer and it was plus 32 or plus 35. Actually when the sun goes down the van gets also uh, cold like in five minutes. Yeah. When well our old apartment was yeah it was torture. Yeah. It was ter plus 35 all around the day and night. Yeah. Now, this has been really hard for people who live in Nordics because the housing and apartments here are not designed to tolerate this kind of heat. Yeah. But we don't have that problem in yeah. the van because we can open every window and we can just drive to the shade and colder spots. Yeah, if and we... it has been always like conversation with my friends that we have so hot apartment at the moment. And yeah. Do you scorch in your van or something? No, <laughs> we don't have any problems. Zero problem. problems. Yeah. I told my new boss that I live in a car, but did he take it good? I don't know. <laughs> he was a little confused about <laughs> it. And I told my team workers and they were well, like thumbs up. But of course you cannot really know what they are deep inside thinking. Even our CEO actually knows. And there was actually a board of the director were introduced. And our CEO tells us, this is Joni and he lives in van. What a great <laughs> lifestyle. Mostly bosses and companies may have some kind of fear that because you don't have a debt and hose loan or something you can just drive away with your car someday. So we have lived in our car full time now over two years and we still do not regret anything about it. Only thing like why we didn't think this lifestyle sooner. And I, I think it's a two year mark or one year mark actually is like the most useful mark when people stop living in their van. Yeah. Go to, back to the apartments. We were kind of scared because we watched some YouTube when dweller channels or read blogs and message boards and people were so like it's horrible lifestyle and you will hate it and every day is and a struggle. You can see only the like the positive side yeah. from the Instagram and our lifestyle isn't that glamorous, but we see gorgeous places every day. So I think the hashtag van life is very true. You will enjoy the van life most if you like to go to nature and you like simple things like having a cup of hot tea is really nice thing to you. Then you will enjoy this lifestyle for the fullest. If you like like luxurious things and and maybe think doing some downsizing just for sake sake of downsizing, I think it's not going to work. Yeah. yeah, lots of uh, like blogs and YouTubers when we started two years ago were complaining about how it's this this is not that glamorous way of life, and you have to park your van in supermarkets or WalMarts or in the middle of the city on the street side parking. But I don't know. Even if the Helsinki is quite big, we can actually find places that are surrounded by nature. We have to, of course, drive kilometers away from our workplaces or something, but still we can it's park. Doable. It's doable. And I think that's the whole point why you live in a car 
and not in a house. You can move and hopefully we can enjoy this lifestyle so much that we can live here as long as it feels good. And we have kind of planned that now that we only spend bare minimum, we don't make that much money on work, but we can save quite a lot of money. Yeah, I think 65% of our salary goes to our savings. Yeah, it's really amazing if you live in Helsinki area. Yeah. Our budget includes basically the maintenance of the van. It's the same amount that normal car takes and also like groceries and everything. That's yeah. like... That's all. Pula yeah. always escapes. Yeah, he doesn't go that far. Actually, he's always around and maybe a little panics if we he doesn't see us. So it's... He's a good doggo. Good doggo. Only thing that maybe Pula can go, go away from us if there's another dog. Yeah. That's the only reason. But yeah, let's continue the future plans and the nowadays plans. We will make a separate episode about it. Yeah, and there's like everything that we have spent and we have categorized everything. That yeah, and we are really detailed persons, so we always count every little thing that we spent. Yeah, and actually it's the best thing if you want to save money to make a statistic about it. So Yeah, you have to keep upkeep and look what you buy first. Yeah, because you might think you only spent little money on some things and big amount of money on some things and then you put everything to the piece of paper or excel sheet you can actually see, see. how much you are spending and it can surprise you in positive or negative way yeah our negative way was alcohol because we were spending over 100 euros per month that's yeah. so much yeah money. i love like gin and it was like 50 euro gin and your is craft beer. Yeah, it's like five euros to six yeah. euros per pint. So yeah, they are expensive, but they maybe I cut down a little. Little, yeah. And now, well, we have the perfect van that we want, so we don't have to do any renovations. And that's one one of the reasons that this is so rewarding to live in your van that you can save really from yeah. your money. But I think we are going to back to the van because. Dina wants her beauty sleeps inside the van. It winds too much. But it's warm. 